Welcome to Geography Gen. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to work out four and six figure grid references using an ordnance survey and OS map. So to start off with, let's find a part of the map. OK, so this map, what you should be able to see on it is it's got lines on it called grid lines. Now you've got this line here, you've got line um, 76, 77, 78, 79 and 80 and these are the names of these vertical lines here and then up the side you've got 80, 81, 82, 83 and these are the names of these horizontal lines here. So you can't see these lines on the floor in real life and what these lines are used for is to help us to find places on the map. So let's have a look at how we can work out a four figure good reference. So if we look over here, you should be able to see on the map, if I zoom in a little bit, that there's a telephone box over here. Now this telephone box is inside this box here on the map. OK, to work out the four figure grid reference, all we have to do is go from the telephone box to the bottom left hand corner. Then we find out the names of the two lines. So first of all, if we go down this line here, OK, we should be able to see that this line is called 79. Then we'll find out what the other line is called. So now I'm going to follow this line and this line is called 83. So the four figure grid reference for the telephone box is 7983. Now you can check the answer by using something called along the corridor up the stairs. So if we go along the corridor to 79 and up the stairs, okay, all the way to 83. And then we can do that again. We can go along the corridor up the stairs and this is the correct box because there's the telephone box. Let's do one more example. So if we have a look at the campsite over here, so if we go to the bottom left hand corner, can you see this line is called 80? Then we'll find out what this line is called. Oh, it's also called 80. So let's check them. So if we go along the corridor to line 80 and up the stairs to line 80, then we should be here. Go along the corridor, up the stairs, we are in the correct box, OK, because there is the campsite. OK, so now if you try one. So I've put a cross on the map here. OK, and I'm just going to hold the camera so you can see it. So here's the cross on the map. So have a look at it and see if you can find out for this cross. OK, what you think the four figure grid reference would be. OK, so let's have a little look. So if we go to the bottom left hand corner, OK, then this line is called 78 and this line is called 81. So along the corridor, up the stairs from there would be in this box. So the four figure grid reference you should have got for the cross would have been 78, 81. OK, right, let's have a little look at a six figure grid reference because that's a little bit more complicated, but it's far more accurate because with a six figure grid reference, it doesn't just tell you where something is inside this box. It tells you whereabouts in the box it is it. It is. So over here's the campsite. Now what we need to do, and I've done some marks on here to show you, is if you imagine this box here is divided into 10, so a bit like decimal places, if you had centimetres and millimetres, then this would be sort of 0.5 halfway along the box. And then over here, this would be about 0.9. OK, so if you imagine a line down here from the campsite, then this area here would be called 80.9. Then we just do exactly the same. So we imagine a line. Can you see I've traced it along here over here and here? They've helpfully divided the box into 10 for me so I can just count them up. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be 80.8. .8. So the six figure grid reference for the campsite should be 80.9 and 80.8. Now you don't need to use the point, okay? So when you're giving your six figure grid reference, you can just write 809808. And then you just find out where they meet and that should be at the campsite, okay? So if you would like to, I'll just pull the map out slightly. If you now have a look at the cross 
and see if you can work out the six-figure good reference for the cross. You might have noticed I've put some little lines on to help you. So let's have a look. So if we imagine a line down here, okay, you've got 78.2 and 81.5. So the answer is 782815. The only thing I would add is just be a little bit careful that you always give the x-axis first. So always do along the corridor first. Otherwise, your numbers will all be the wrong way around and then all of the answers that you give will be incorrect. So just be careful, you always do the bottom number first and then this number second.